In this video, I'm going to show you how we should set up zero when you have multiple revenue streams in your business. I highly recommend that you use this setup because it makes it significantly easier when it comes to your reporting and understanding how your business is operating. I'm gonna share my screen with you and show you exactly how you set it up. And for those of you that are new to this channel, welcome, my name is Annette Ferguson. I am CEO of Annette & Co, UK-based accounting firm. I am a chartered accountant, certified profit first professional and financial strategists. And ultimately we help business owners take home lots more money from their business for them and their families to enjoy. So let's dive in. revenue streams in your business, it can be a really good idea to set up your zero reporting so that you can see those different revenue streams. It makes it easier for you to keep track of what's happening in your business, to compare it against your forecasts and your plans, and to therefore adjust as you go when it comes to your business strategy and what you want to achieve. So when we have zero set up so that we can see different revenue streams, what you'll be able to do is pull off a profit and loss account that lists those revenue streams out so that you can easily see those in your business. So let's have a look at how we actually do that in practice when we are looking at our zero account. The first thing that we need to do is we need to set up those separate new revenue streams in our business. So in order to do that, we need to go into accounting and advanced. We then need to select chart of accounts and we need to add in our new revenue stream here. So we do that by selecting add account and you'll get this pop-up box. Now in this instance, it's a sales account that we have. So you can see there's various drop downs here. It's a sales accounts that we want to add in. So you can just start typing S um, and it will come up or you can scroll down and hit sales. Under code, we need to choose a code that is available. Now, typically we would say you want to keep similar codes together. So for me, I've got revenue stream one, two, and three here. So I am going to choose 203 as my next one. And then you're going to write what you want it to be called. So I'm gonna put revenue stream four, but you could put the name of your product, your program, or your service in here. Make sure that you get the VAT correct, what the default VAT rate is going to be, for that depending on your own VAT position and hit save. What you can see that then does is it adds it in to our chart of accounts here so that we have it available. That means that next time you go to raise an invoice, so let's go into uh, the dashboard and let's raise an invoice from there. Next time you go in to raise a new sales invoice, you will see revenue stream four as an option for you. So let's put in our description, our quantity, let's say that it's 5,000 pounds. And then here you can see you have your revenue streams listed. That means you can select your new revenue stream. You can post that invoice in, oh, <laughs> I need to put the due date in, of course. You can post that in there. And then when we go back in and we do a profit and loss account now, we'll see that we have something under revenue stream four because we've just put in that invoice into our new revenue stream. And you can see it appears in the profit and loss account here. Now this is the new version of the profit and loss account we are looking at. It is the same under the old version of the profit and loss account. So if I just go into that so that I can show you that you can also see it in this version as well. And and I highly recommend that if you have multiple revenue streams in your business, this is how you set up your zero so you can be really clear on your business's financial performance as well. I hope that this video was useful for you. Now, if you enjoy what I share on the channel, do make sure that you subscribe. Also click on the bell so you know next time a video is uploaded. And if there's anything you want us to record a video about, let us know in the comments and we will get on to that for you too. Take care.